support during a tragic time. The Nassau County community is rallying around the family of a man killed in a tree trimming accident over the weekend. 33-year-old Adam Nichols owned a landscaping business. He died when a tree he was cutting down fell on him at a home in Yulee. He leaves behind two young boys and a wife who is pregnant with twins. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci shows us how locals are helping this family in need. Adam Nichols spent most of his free time here on the baseball diamond. He loved coaching the kids, and those kids, they loved him back. Now he may be gone, but his memories live on. With his passion he had for the game, I, um, I really wanted my son to be on his team. And that was the beginning of what Bubba Dickerson hoped would be a lifelong friendship with Adam Nichols. We were supposed to have dinner with him that night. But that never happened. It's been tough. Nichols died on the job Saturday afternoon when a tree he was chopping down fell on top of him. His wife, who's pregnant with twins, and his two sons are devastated. Just try to take as much burden off, um, off Leah and the kids as we can. Dickerson is a pro golfer. He's now planning a golf tournament to raise money for the family. It'll add to the tens of thousands of dollars friends and neighbors have already donated online. It allows you to get into these little notches here. Scott and Sons Fine Jewelry is one of many local businesses stepping up to the plate to help. Just trying to help his family. They're replacing watch batteries and adjusting wristbands free of charge in exchange for donations for Nichols' family. I've had a couple of people come in and drop checks for $100 just to come in the store, not ask for anything in return. It won't bring him back, but friends say all the love certainly helps during such a hard time. It's been really incredible. Nichols's visitation and funeral is this Saturday afternoon at the First Baptist Church in Fernandina Beach. His friends say the entire baseball park is gonna be out there, and his family is asking all of his players to show up in their uniforms to show their support. If you'd like to learn more, go to our website, news4jacks.com. In Yulee, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, thanks. Folks, take a look. In the past two days, family and friends have raised about $40,000 for the family. You see the amount on the right-hand side at $39,924. If you'd like to help, you can head to our website, news4jacks.com. We have put a link to that page inside this story on our homepage. Unfortunately, this tragedy is more common than you might realize. Lindsay's joining us now with a grim statistic. Lindsay? Well, Tom, a search of our internal records at News 4 Jack shows 10 people over the last four years have all died or been injured while trimming trees in our area. In 2012, one person died while trimming a tree in East Arlington. In 2013, a teen was killed while working for a tree trimming service. Now, because of the teen's age, the owner of the company was sentenced to 15 years in prison on manslaughter charges. 2014 saw three people killed and one injured, including a deacon at Fruit Cove Baptist Church. Last year, one person was found dead in his yard in Satsuma. He was killed by a falling tree tree limb while doing some yard work. And this year, two other men were hurt trimming trees, including a JEA worker who was shocked when it hit a power line.